So I heard you guys think you got some real drip in the old, old school RuneScape. Well, I'm here to tell you that everything you know is a lie. Okay, that's maybe a little bit of a stretch. All I'm saying is that there are, you, you know when you're skilling, you're in a skilling mood, which for most of you is probably not very often because I know a lot of you guys enjoy the PVM and PVP side of this game. I'm quite the opposite. The combat is my least favorite part of old school RuneScape. I'm all about the skilling. I'm all about the swag. I'm all about the fashionscape. And when you're doing skilling, like say you're fishing, you're barbarian fishing for hours on end, you're doing agility training, well, if you're doing agility, you're probably wearing graceful. You're doing a, 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 a skill that doesn't require a specific outfit, or you don't have the outfit such as like the angler outfit because fishing trawler is literal garbage. But um, you want to pick the perfect outfit because you want to flex on fools. Now you have to decide, when you're flexing, are you flexing your fashion skills, the way you're able to set up your outfit to really just pop or are you flexing your wealth or are you flexing flexing your accomplishments there are three different categories that you can go about fashionscape just in general honestly and as this little as this little rabbit ruins my shot i'm going to show you what i've been rocking as of late which is the fishing trawler outfit or the angler outfit mixed with my farming cape the green uh, actually i think i should go like uh, if we go, no, 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 that's not what I want. If I go, like, to this thing, I think it shows, like, yes. So, see, I like the, the green, obviously, looks very good, and then mixed with the, uh, the lunar staff, looks even better. I love the, 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 the new version of the lunar staff and Dra Draymond staff. The, they just look so good, and you get so used to looking at the Draymond staff in general. Now, I am just having a regular glory on that kind of, you can get real, if you want to get, like, real into it, I could put, like, a Xerix talisman on. Hold on. Let me just go do that really quickly. Let's just go pop the, put the glory up. The glory is nice, but it's like purple, and what does that go with? Maybe the, the damage book. I want my, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I should have already had this out. I apologize. Where is my amulet of Zarek? A lot of people wear the Zarek Talisman to flex because it's green and goes with everything. Look at that, much better. Now, not very useful, but if you're just skilling, I mean, that's what you can do. But anyway, this is my uh, go-to outfit as of right now, as I'm doing anything. Uh, and plus, if I'm actually literally skilling fishing, I'll get the uh, added fishing bonus. So there are a couple ways to do this. Like, obviously, if you're fishing, you want to wear the angler outfit for the extra bonus if you have it. Now, let me show you some of my favorite skilling outfits just in general. Not necessarily just the pyro pieces, which I do have the pyromancy pieces. Well, I don't have all of them, but I have some of them. And that looks pretty good with the farming cape, too. Now, if you had the fire making cape, that looks real good. I don't obviously have that, so I can't flex that. But there are different actual skilling outfits. Like, I have the rogues outfit, which is, like, thieving and all that stuff. But let's... Let's throw together some primo fashionscape. Some stuff that will really flex on all the nerds out there. Now, I obviously have the hardcore outfit, which, I mean, if you're not a hardcore, I mean, you can't even have this. So, this is like the primo of the primo. But this doesn't really go with it. I don't have a red cape per se. Now, I do have this red dragon hide body G, but that doesn't really go with that per se. I could, like, maybe flex, like, the black plate legs G, maybe the fancy boots. That's looking kind of nice. Um,. I got like a uh, the, the black unicorn mask. This is like a guy that does clue scrolls, obviously, and also plays the game a little bit. If I put like the uh, I could put like this mythical kite shield Jihan, and then we're kind of super trimmed out. I'm kind of liking that actually. Uh, the bunny hat from one of the most recent um, uh, Easter events looks really good with like anything. That just looks so good. Um, even if I popped on like let's see, I need to get like a different play body out. The bear mask also looks really good. That's one of my favorite items in the game, actually, just because it's so nostalgic for me. Let me refresh this a little bit. I like the black unicorn mask, and that looks pretty good with the black play body G. Okay, this is we're getting somewhere. We are uh, we're getting somewhere here. Give me like two seconds to uh, to tweak this just a little bit more. Okay, so I really like what we have going on here, but I think maybe with like the shadow sword. That would look, okay, that looks pretty good, although it is two-handed, so I, I, we can't really rock the shield. I need, like, a darker cape to go with this, but hold on, I want to keep tweaking this really quickly. What does the evil chicken head look like with that? Okay, that ruins the aesthetic. That, <laughs> that makes it too goofy. Now, I do love the dragon square shield. I think that's one of the best-looking shields in the game. With the lunar staff, it doesn't really go with what I got going on here. Maybe if I put, like, this red... Uh, dragon hide body G on it, it looks a little bit better. I do like the way arc light looks I think that's also one of the best looking swords in the game if we put this back on and then hold on Let's put a oh, let's try with my twisted slayer helmet Okay, that's looking pretty good. The green kind of goes with that really well actually I need better boots and I need uh, I think I think it has to go with this. I need um all oh, the monkey backpack 
Oh, that's so cute. I love the monkey backpack so much. Even the bunny helmet. Okay, this is... We look like a free-to-play PKer now, though. <laughs> um, let's put the farm in. You know, also, I love this... Uh, cr the Corrupted set is some of my favorite in the game. Just because it's so unique. Um, now, it doesn't really... I don't really have a whole lot to go with that. You get that from digging up those, like, clue rewards. Um, I do love... I, I wore this for a long time in the beginning of my Hardcore Iron Man's account because I just never had anything else. Uh, I do have the dual side, but it doesn't really look like much. Let's put this back on. I think we're closer with this. This is close. Like, this right here with the uh, the Mithril Kite Shield G. I need to find a better pair of boots and then maybe another pair of, like, another cape. Oh, what? Hey, actually, what is with the angler outfit and the farming cape? Where did that go? I have that on. Where's the boots? There it is. What does that look like with, like, the frog mask? I love the, fr the prince mask. I think that's so cool. Um... What about the green party hat? Eh, it's too small. The party hats are too small. The green Halloween mask. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's like legit. That's like a private server. Like this is straight out of a private. Put the dragon square shield on. Look at us. We're like going like we're like a, a shark bot. We're gonna go bot some sharks here in a second. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, let me work on this unicorn helmet stuff because I I, I feel like we're really close to some primo fashion scape skilling content there. Let me uh. Let me take a look at my bank one more time. We might have to run to my house because I have all of the holiday items and stuff and some other stuff stashed into my uh, my toy boxes. So <laughs> we might have to make a special trip there. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really starting to dig like this right here. The green Halloween mask looks really good. Um, I, I got this Adamant Shield H5, which kind of matches that a little bit better, honestly. Um, so that's kind of like complete right there. This I could I could dig this. Even if we put like the, the Guthix Mage Cape. Now that obviously looks way worse than the Farming Cape, but that's also a possibility if you don't have the 99 Farming Cape. Um, with this set, I was thinking, um, with the Mithril Kite Shield... And maybe like I got the Shizen boots. Those look, I know a lot of people actually rock the Shizen armor just in general because it does look pretty dope. And if we put like the Zamorak cape on, it's so small. If I had an Obby cape, that would be perfect. But this is pretty close. Uh, I, the Unholy book that looks pretty good too. It doesn't necessarily match more so. But if I pull, I, I have a strength amulet trimmed. That looks pretty good. Honestly, we're on to something here. The shield is a little bit too... Like, if it wasn't a mithril shield, I, I almost wonder if the dragon shield... I think that kind of completes it more because it matches the red of the everything else. This is also pretty much complete right here. So we've got, like, two pretty good outfits. The Twisted Slayer helmet looks really good with this, too. It doesn't necessarily match. I wonder how it looks with the angler outfit, actually. Hold on. Let's see how that looks. And then put this on, those on. That doesn't look bad, and it kind of is more impressive then the halloween mask just because i had to work harder for this and then if i put the uh, adamant shield back on the xerix talisman that's pretty good right there too this is pretty pog content although i'm not mad at the halloween mask either let me make one more quick trip to my house see what else we got in there and then we'll have two pretty solid outfits i think for primo skilling content See, now I do have, like, obviously I have the whole rogue set, but it doesn't really look that good. And a lot of people love the way the Prospector outfit looks, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Also because of just the fact that it is so overdone. But that's also kind of how I feel about the Pyromancy set. Like, so many people are wearing the Pyromancy robes, I'm, like, not about it. Now, Void kind of has the same effect. A lot of people wear it all the time, so I'm not, like, a huge fan of it. I do love the way the Achievement Diary set looks, and not a whole lot of people wear that. Um, but... I think it looks best at the tier four, the elite, uh, the elite set. I only have some of the medium and some of the hards. I don't have the whole. I don't have any of the elite pieces, which I think look best. But when it does, I think it's some of the best looking armor in the game. Um, and a lot of people also rock full Shizen, but I'm not a huge fan of it either. Some of it does look kind of nice, like the, if if you wear it all and like have a blowpipe, that looks pretty cool. And then a certain cape. Um, also, same with like Zer the Xerxian armor. The robes, a lot of people have those robes. I'm going to teleport to my house real quick and see if I have anything else that could go with these outfits. And then I think we'll have, ooh, you know what? The Ancient Staff might look pretty good. Wolfbane, uh, Ivan Staff, nah, let's stick with the Ancient Staff. Okay, two more seconds. Let's go to the house, see what we got, and then we'll complete these outfits. And you will have a good idea of some dope skilling fashion scape. So I do have the ghostly set and the lunar robes in my magic wardrobe, but I'm not like the lunar set looks cool, but I don't think it's like I don't think it really can like uh, you know completes anything. And same with the ghostly robes, like they're okay, but it's like oh, it's a set of uh, you're like invisible. 
I'm so impressed. Now, I don't think I actually have much in this armor case. Hold on, let me look. Oh, the builder's costume and the ham robes. How fashionable. Purple. <laughs> um, I don't think I have anything else in here. I think my thing isn't big enough yet. <laughs> That's not the first time I've ever said that. Let's open this really quickly. Um, these are like, I don't think I have any clue score rewards in here. The monk's robe trimmed and the sandwich lady hat. Yeah, so not really. Uh, I don't think I have anything in the easy sets either. Oh, I do have a black. That's perfect. That's literally perfect. That was exactly what I was looking for. Do I have anything else? Mm, a black pickaxe. Wow. A black, a staff of the bobcat. What? Okay. And then this is, oh, so the, um, the random event sets, they're okay. Um, the mime costume is, ugh. The zombie outfit, camo outfit is, ugh. Lederhosen's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm only, the only, like, random event outfits I really like is the royal frog costume. Like, I think those actually look pretty good. Um, and I have all of the holiday items, but... Nothing really impressive. Like, the scythe is okay. The scythe looks pretty cool. I do like the spooky legs from back in 2006 and the pumpkin head. Those are some pretty sick things, but really nothing compliments this as much as I thought I would. So, I think with this black kite shield we just pulled out, we should have this fit completed. That should look pretty... Oh, yes. It looks pretty good, dude. Oh, wait. Where's my... Wait, did I not have a cape to go with this? I guess not. Um, that's the only thing we're missing with this, is a cape. Other than that... Oh, maybe let's try Arclight. Arclight looks pretty good with that, too. I don't have a cape to go with this, really. Because I don't have, like, any, like, dark-looking capes. But that's pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe with the, the Dragon Square Shield. I mean, that looks pretty good, too. If I had, like, Dragon Boots, that would really pull it off. But, you know, hardcore Iron Man, by the way. Uh, but I think this is probably the best thing we've come up with here. This oh, fishing outfit right here with the... With the anglers and like, if I had, uh, if I put the Twisted Slayer helmet on, that looks pretty good too. But I'm not mad at this whatsoever. And then we can just teleport right back to the farming guild. Because that is one of the benefits of the farming cape that I did not know about. And I love that. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta put this back in my house. Dang it. Well, anyway, there's just my take. Um, like I said, there's three main categories you can go when you're trying to pick out skilling outfits. You can literally go for the skill boosting out outfit. You can go for flexing your cash stack, your wealth. Or you can flex your achievements. There are multiple ways to go about this. If you have pets, even better. I, unfortunately, do not because, well, you not lucky. So, anyway, that's just a little fun little video I kind of had the idea of. Let me know some of your favorite fashionscape outfits in the comments if you want. Subscribe. Uh, leave a like if you are enjoying the RuneScape content. I hope you guys are. Hardcore Iron Man episode... But I don't know the number. <laughs> Should be out within a couple of days, hopefully. It's about halfway done, so we're getting there. Progress is happening. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one so much. I just appreciate you guys and, and for everything. All the support, everything. You're beautiful. You're loyal. You're smart. But until then, boys and girls, until next time, I will see you then. Bye!